hello guys in this particular video we will be learning that how can we extract images out of our video so without wasting any time let's get started so first of all i have to write my necessary imports obviously i have to start by importing my open cv and then i have to import another library or module that is os now i have to create my video capture object so i'm going to name it as vid and my video from which I want to extract images or I can say from which I want to extract my frames is going to be this one uh, this one so I basically want to extract my images from this particular video so the location of the folder in which my video is located is this I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to place it inside this and the name of my video is video one mp4 now my video object will be captured inside my vid object and i'm going to uh, create another variable whose name is current frame which will tell you uh, which will tell me that on what current frame i am present so when i will be naming my frames this will help me because my first frame is going to be zero because it is zero then i'm going to increment my current frame variable that is this variable and therefore which will help me in naming my second frame which will be extracted from my video as frame number two as frame number one then frame number two then frame number three then frame number four and so on. now I this code will work perfectly fine but I want to uh, store my extracted images inside a folder so for example I have this particular folder sample folder in which I have this code written this particular code has been written don't go on the name of my file because uh, it is uh, something different but I want to store my extracted images inside this folder so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write here if not OS dot path dot exist and inside bracket I'm going to write here and inside bracket I'm going to write here data so this line will mean uh, what this line means is that uh, it will tell the computer that if my data folder does not exist in my current path then create or I can say then make a new directory whose name is data so inside this sample folder, I don't have any folder or directory whose name is folder, whose name is data. So I'm going to create another directory inside this particular folder whose name is going to be data. And inside the data's folder, I'm going to store my extracted images, the extracted images from my video. Now I'm going to run a loop because I want to extract, uh, because I want to read my video object. I'm going to first create two variables. The first one is going to be success. The second one is going to be frame. Success is my Boolean and frame is going to contain my frame by frame information of my video. The name of my video object is going to be VID and I'm going to apply my dot read method on it. So this will extract my frame by frame information, image by image information out of my video and pass it inside this variable frame variable now i'm going to show my uh, video object so that i can conveniently uh, uh, stop my object stop my video whenever i want to and then i'm going to uh, store my frame by frame information by using a dot i am right method and inside this i'm going to pass the name of my image which i'm going to save so since my images are going to be saved inside a data folder because i've created a data folder for the same i'm going to write here dot data dot will specify what dot, dot will specify that any other path before data so if my data folder will be here so dot will represent this whole path e my computer with an open cv sample folder this path now I'm going to write here data because inside data's folder I'm going to store my images and then I'm going to write here data frame why I have data return data I don't know I'm going to write here frame and then current frame so this line will mean what uh, this value will ensure that my each of my image will be named as frame one because my uh, current frame is zero so this first first frame is going to be frame zero then my current frame will be incremented and it will be frame one then frame two 
then frame 3 so each and every name of my image is going to be frame 0 frame 1 frame 2 frame 3 and so on then i'm going to write here my extension which is jpeg and then i'm going to write here frame uh, the frame i want to store after that i will increment my frame and then i will ensure that this this whole particular code will ensure that i am going to uh, i can either continue to extract my images from my video until and unless the video object gets closed or i can close the video object manually by q and then the frame by frame extraction from my video object will close now if i run this code by pressing ctrl shift and f10 you can see that me, my video object has appeared on the screen and a data directory has been created inside which my frame by frame information gets captured you can see that new images are being created now if i close this window by pressing q you can see that my program has closed and my frame by frame extraction of my images has also been closed so this is how you can extract images out of any video so i hope you understood this video perfect uh, perfectly and we will meet in the next video until then bye bye